Hello, you can heal family. Oh, sorry about that. Oh my goodness. I am outside today shooting day 14 of our self-care, self-love challenge and ideas on how to encourage you on your healing journey. If this is your first time watching, I'm Sheena Major and I'm a life coach. I help people heal from unhealthy relationships. So they do what? Learn to love themselves. So I hope you can hear me and I hope I'm not shouting at you. I don't mean to, but um, as you can see, I'm outside and it's absolutely gorgeous. This is a park probably about, I don't know, 10 minutes from my house. So my mom, sorry guys, my mom's getting married this weekend. So in between, I just got a pedicure. I've got to go to the printer to get some stuff for her little bachelorette thing tonight. And then I'm off to get my hair done. I hope Lisa Smiles approves if she's watching this video. I think I'm going to do some kind of ponytail thing because I really didn't want to do a wig or a weave. I really didn't. That's a whole nother video on why. So with that backstory, I just wanted to make time to get this video recorded so I can work on it um, today and get it up today because every day we're getting a video. Every day we're learning how to take care of ourselves. Every day we're learning how to love ourselves more and to just um, heal from all the things that have happened. And we don't have to live back then and all those things. We can be present and we can have peace and we can be happy today. So the video today is interesting because I was up this morning early, 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 four o'clock. Yes, I was. I'm still doing my um, early rising in the morning. And a lot of things have happened for me because of the excuse the fly or whatever it is. So anyways, I was up and so about six o'clock, I'm going through my drawer. Now I've been thinking about talking about this for a couple days and today is the day. So you know when you go and if I'm the only one, then the video is for me. But if there's someone else out there who has this experience in the morning, this is the perfect video for you. So you open your drawer and you go to get dressed, your panty drawer, and you're like this. You're like digging in there, trying to find what it is you need. Well, that was me, I will confess, that was me. And when that happens, I always know, okay, it's time to reset. It's time to look at the items in here and see what does not need to be in here anymore because there is no reason, ladies, that we should be rummaging around, wasting precious seconds, trying to find what we need to put on our bodies. It's just not acceptable. So my daughter, um, I don't know, a year or so ago, she turned me on to this like um, feng shui lady, I think, or organizer lady, how she rolls her t-shirts and she stacks them really nicely. So my t-shirt drawer is stacked like that, but the, the panty drawer is not in the sock drawer. So. We have to get organized. We have to go in and tackle that thing because every time you open it, even though it seems like a small thing, there's so much clutter there and so much disorganization that it doesn't give you headspace to breathe. And normally you get dressed in the morning. And when we're looking at something that looks that disarray, it, it doesn't help with our mental clarity. And that's what we need when we're healing. We need as much mental clarity as possible. So cleaning out your underwear drawer can be very helpful in you starting your day um, in a peaceful way, not in a chaotic, unorganized way, but in a way where you know where what you you know what you need is there and you know where to find it. You don't have to waste time rummaging through the drawer. You don't have to rummage through the drawer. So my drawer is clean. I'm wondering who is gonna take this idea on and clean out their panty drawer. Now, to kick it up a notch, when is the last time you changed them? When is the last time you bought new ones? Okay, this is really big on self-care, so I don't know any statistics. I'm not a doctor. I don't really know how long you should keep them. If anybody has this information, put it in the comments, how long it should be before you change them. But I think you get the idea when you look at them, right? You can tell if they're a little worn out. So when you're refreshing your panty drawer and organizing it, take a look and see if you need to get rid of some things and replace them, okay? With something crisp and new and clean. I know here the weather's nice, it's about 89 degrees and I found this really nice shady spot to chat with you. So yeah, um, 
refresh that underwear drawer organize it clean it make it look fabulous so when you wake up in the morning and you're getting dressed you're looking at something neat and organized and put together and calm and peaceful and those are all the things you want to be those are all the things you want to be so that drawer is a reflection back on you and I'm the first one to admit I needed to I needed to take care of mine this morning and I did that and it feels good and um, you know I hope you do that too if you don't need to organize it and it's already taken care of and it already looks good and you don't have that this situation I applaud you I think that's awesome so my challenge for you is to find another area in your home that does look like that whether it's a drawer in your kitchen a closet space your shoe rack right when you come in the house there's probably three or four people living there, but there's probably 10, 20 pairs of shoes, right? I know, I know. Three people live in my house and there's a zillion shoes. So organize that area, you know, organize the drawer up under your stove where your pots and pans are. The other thing too is um, another big one is your crisper and your refrigerator. Okay, so when you're when you're really in a situation where you're just trying to survive you're like on flight or fight mode in your healing journey sometimes we tend to overlook the produce that's been in there for too long okay because we don't even have the energy to take care of ourselves our bodies ourselves you know our minds so why would we worry about the crisper well you want to stay clean and you want to you know, it does, you don't want it to contaminate everything else. But also, even more important than that, it's just getting yourself doing something for you. Doing something that keeps your space clean, that keeps your space nice. Even if you um, are having a hard time on your journey of healing, you can always know that you don't, the things in your home can still be kept up. But it's going to take effort. It's going to take energy. You have to, instead of going in there, looking at the crisper or looking at your panty drawer or looking at your shoe rack or your closet and, and acting like you don't see it, say, okay, next time I open this refrigerator, next time I open this drawer, I'm going to clean it. And you make a date with yourself and you commit to you and you get the job done and it's going to feel great. It's going to feel great. So that's self-care um, idea number 14 on this journey i'm really hopeful that um you're gonna organize something today right organize something a small space in your home today will you take me up on it will you join me in tackling the panty drawer <laughs> okay so many bugs out here all right so that's it you guys let's say a prayer i feel called to do that it's beautiful you can see behind me the sky and um god is a creator of all this greenery you see so we're gonna pray and um, then I'm gonna go and drop stuff off to the printer from my mom's um, dinner tonight and then I'm gonna go get my hair done so the next video I'm gonna have different hair let me know what you think about that as well so father we're thankful so much for this glorious day for the beauty that you make that surrounds us continually if we just look up and see that your redemption draws nigh that you're always close to our hearts in our minds and that we can call on you whenever we need you that you're there and you want to see us heal and hold in every area of our life even our panty drawers in jesus name they all said amen okay that's it guys i'll see you tomorrow for day 15 bye